For item nine, best language, we score the patient's language skills. Listen for this item as you perform the entire stroke scale examination. By this time, you'll know a lot about the patient's ability to comprehend language, and you may be able to score the item. However, it's almost always wise to confirm your impressions developed to this point in the exam using the formal testing tools provided. This scale item is an exception to the rule of scoring only the first impressions. We encourage, but do not coach or stimulate the patient's best performance. The patient's language is tested by having the patient examine the cookie jar picture in the standard naming card and by reading a series of sentences. The objects and sentences are provided with the stroke scale exam. Always determine if the patient wears glasses. If so, they will be needed for the exam. Give the patient adequate time to identify the objects on the object card. Ask the patient to name each item on the card. Ask the patient to describe the meaning and action depicted on the cookie jar picture. Encourage, but do not coach the patient to be as complete as possible. Ask the patient to read all the phrases on the sentence card. The assessment is based on your overall sense of the patient's language as well as on their responses on these tests. I'd like you to put on your reading glasses here. Okay. All right. I'm going to show you a card. I want you to tell me what you see in that picture. Um, um, socket. Mm-hmm. It's a hostess. And going outside. Mm-hmm. Uh, just washing. And... Uh, Falling down. Falling down. Good. Now I have some pictures. Can you tell me what that is right there? Glove. Okay. And that right there? Feather. Good. And this one? Uh, hammock. Good. And this one? Chair. Mm-hmm. And this one? Gexus. Uh-huh. Yeah. And this one? Key. Good. That's great. Can you read these sentences for me? You know how down to earth I got home from work mm -hmm. near the table in the dining room. Mm -hmm. They heard him speak on the radio last night. For scale item 9, this patient scored a 1. Let's look at how this scale item is scored. Score a 0 if there is no aphasia. Score a 1 for mild to moderate aphasia evidenced by some obvious loss of fluency or facility of comprehension, but no significant limitation on ideas expressed or form of reductions. A limited reduction will still allow you, as the examiner, to identify the picture or naming card content from the patient's responses. What I'm going to do is give you this picture here, and I'd like you to tell me what you see in that picture. Describe to me what you see there. Well... Boy, boy, boy has a uh, getting cookie cook, cookie mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He, Now he's falling uh, on the stool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very uh, good. Do you see anything else? Sloppy people. Okay. What else do you see? R r r the lady has uh, uh, has washed dishes mm -hmm. and overflow the the sink. Excellent. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now what I'd like you to do, I have another picture, mm -hmm. and I'd like you to take a look at this. And tell me what that object is right there. What is that right there? Can you tell me the name of that object? Globe. Excellent. How about this one? Key. How about Chair. Cut. 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 Mm -hmm. I cannot pronounce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. How about Cat. Cut. Good. All right. Mm. How about this one here? Feather. And this one here? Hammock. Okay. Score a 2 for severe aphasia when all the patient's expressions are fragmentary or when you cannot identify card content from the patient's response. Ask her if there's anything in that picture she can tell us. Mamá, mira el dibujo y qué están haciendo ellos. A ver, trata de decir qué es lo que están haciendo. No, aquí. Mira el dibujo. 
¿Qué está haciendo ella? Tell you what, let's try a different one and see what I'd like her to do is look at the card and tell us if she can point to the chair. ¿Puedes apuntar dónde está la silla? La silla, mira el dibujo. ¿Dónde está la silla? Toca la silla con tu mano. Okay. Score a three if mute for any reason or for global aphasia or if no usable speech or auditory comprehension is demonstrated. The examiner must choose a score of three for the patient with a stupor or limited cooperation. Would you um, take a look at this card? Is there anything that you can tell me about it? I'll hold it where you can see it. Can you speak at all about that card? Let me try one more thing. I have a few pictures here. Can you tell me what what this object is on the picture card? The intubated patient should be asked to write down responses to the examiner's questions. If a patient's visual loss interferes with testing this item, you may ask the patient to identify objects placed in the hand. You'll also need to elicit samples of speech. On the naming card test, it is very common for visually impaired patients to identify the feather as a leaf and the glove as a hand. Also, in some parts of the country, the cactus picture will be identified as animals in profile, such as squirrels. I usually score these responses as correct. Hammocks are not common outside of the Americas, so patients from other cultural groups may not know the term. Patients scoring a three on level of consciousness 1A are scored three on this scale item. Mute patients may have some cause other than aphasia for not speaking, but to optimize scoring reliability, you always give the mute patient a three. Remember, score what you see, not what you think the patient can do.